we are going to be making another little update video for you guys so um as you know winter is coming and it is getting pretty cold in this camper at night um it's actually getting down to like in the 30s and there's a, a freeze warning coming up for this actually next week so we can't sleep in this camper anymore and so we were racking our brains trying to figure out what we can do and um, another thing I have not, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but this camper is not roadworthy, so we actually can't drive somewhere warmer. So we actually have people who are going to be buying this camper and the truck camper. For the winter, we're going to be moving into a little shed. It's actually on the same property that we're on, so we're going to be moving into there. And we have already been like storing stuff in there and we have our TV set up. And so in the evenings, if we ever go in there to hang out and have the door shut, it's actually pretty warm in there. We don't even notice the cold and then you open the door and go outside and it's cold. And so we're going to be moving in there today. We're actually saving everything that we can to buy a roadworthy camper. That's something we will be working on over the next few months because we would like to do the road life um, RV living thing being able to travel and so everything that I'm making from this channel and um, everything extra that my husband can save we are saving it and we're gonna um, invest in a roadworthy camper whenever we have enough money saved up and we are already on the way so thank you guys so much for everything you've done to support us it's really meant a lot so I know that people are used to getting on YouTube and seeing fancy people doing things that are expensive and they have fancy houses and that's not my life right now and so things are a little bit messy um and i know people criticize that sometimes and that's totally fine if you don't like that you don't have to you don't have to like my channel but um it is just a little bit messy and i just want to warn you this is real life and i'm not making this up and so i just want to say that because you're going to see some real life here. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and get started moving. So this is a before of this little shed. We have stuff in here that we're going to be cleaning out today. And here's the TV set up. So here we're just draining the water out of the camper so it doesn't freeze and break any pipes. So we have to take everything out of this little storage space and reorganize it to put all of our storage stuff.
We're starting to get this layout figured out. Put the bed down. Got Liam's bed sitting over there and we're gonna figure out that space next. Um, we're gonna figure out how to put the TV somewhere. We're not sure if it's gonna be in here or in the camper, but slowly figuring it out. So Mike took out the heater down there so it's open now and we have the stove. Mike also took that out so it leaves a big hole in the counter and we took our bed out and put it in the shed so we were able to set up this table again. So that is nice. Gives us a lot more space right there. So this is what we got so far. Liam's toys in the bed. We need to clean it up and make it, but Liam's pack and play over there, which is really nice. And the microwave under there. Mike built this thing for the coffee. And then um, this is for the stove. And the propane and the heater fit under there. looking pretty good so far we're pretty happy so we just need to keep organizing and cleaning and getting everything arranged but we're pretty happy with it hey everyone so it's the next day and we slept really well and it was a little chilly in here but it was not nearly as cold as in the camper so we're really happy with it and i know it looks like it's like snowy outside but i was cold and i was like I want to be warm so I just pulled out a hat that I had in storage and yeah trying to keep warm as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day but it's a little bit windy so it is a little chilly
So these are my teddy bears. So Mike had gotten me these teddy bears um, Valentine's Day 2021 and it was like right around the time I found out I was pregnant with Liam. And so these bears have some pretty sentimental value to me. I just remember it was like right over the time I found out I was pregnant. So yeah, it says 2021 on the foot. So yeah, that was the year that Liam was born. So these bears definitely hold some value to me. Now this is something that is extremely nostalgic. This game. We played this game so much when I was a kid. It even has the same smell that it had way back. Look at it, it's torn. <laughs> this game, we spent hours and hours playing this game. I don't know if any of you guys know what it is. It's called Woods and Water. That we spent so much time with this game, so many memories. Oh, this smell brings back all the memories. Wow, that's nostalgic to me. I will keep that. And these are some of my baby pictures from when I was born. And if you didn't know, I was a preemie, so I weighed two pounds and three ounces. I always said that I looked like an old grandma when I was born. <laughs> My sister made all these scrapbooks and I'm so thankful she did because now I have all these pictures. Such a classic me. <laughs> Here I was getting a little bit older, probably around three or something. And I loved helping in the kitchen. It's kind of funny because now Liam loves helping me. Now this is getting into when I was like maybe ten, something, eight to ten. Something I used to do, I would sit there and crochet and I would listen to audiobooks. I did that a lot. Not sure what was up with me. And I will never forget when I got this box, we were getting ready for our wedding and so I was like getting my hair done and then they brought this box to me and said it was a gift from Mike and I remember opening it and it was a picture book of our love story so this picture is the first day that I ever met Mike we spent a lot of time in Old Sack because that was like such a romantic, beautiful spot. And we did a photo shoot there. So this book is actually like walking through our whole love story, which I am going to be making a video about that. So I maybe will save the details for that. But this was a picture we took on our first date. Ugh, I was so nervous. <laughs> um, I don't know if you, any of you guys like puzzles, but I do. My dad gave me this one at our family reunion we went to. This one we got actually a couple years ago. We are huge fans of Star Wars. And this one, my sister gave this to me. Uh, I can't remember when, but it was like a birthday one year, I think. But anyway, comment below if you like puzzles because I'm a puzzle girl. I love doing puzzles.